On Thursday, the 30th of September, Governor Babajide Sawolu assented to the Administration of Criminal Justice Amendment Law, ACJL of Lagos State 2021. The ACJL was first passed in Lagos State in 2007 and amended in 2011, more than 10 years ago, to ensure the protection of the fundamental rights of suspects and persons that come in contact with the justice system as enshrined in the Constitution. In a bid to further strengthen the justice system, promote the rights of victims and suspects, as well as address the issues of delay in the administration of criminal justice in Lagos State, key innovative provisions have been introduced as amendments to the law. In this interview, the Attorney General of Lagos shares with us some of the key provisions which have been introduced and much more. Between now and 2011, so many issues have been thrown up through implementation of the law. Um, prosecution has shown that there are gaps to be plugged and um, this amendment, this 2021 amendment is to catch up one <coughs> with practice internationally, global best practices and two uh, from working the law we've seen what we need to tweak and as such, this amendment is timely, is necessary, and desirable. So the, some of the key and groundbreaking innovations are uh, uh, perhaps um, protecting and strengthening the rights of victims before the law. So for example, uh, as at when Mr. Governor gave his assent, um, suspects can no longer be paraded before the media again in Lagos State. Um, we, we, we did this, we settled for this in line with global best practices. Um, we're not saying that the media cannot report or cover uh, uh, defendants or suspects, but what we're saying is that it is wrong for the police to line up defendants or suspects and then say these are the people who committed such and such a crime. When they've not been found guilty. Exactly. They've not been tried and it's pre prejudicial. So that has been dealt with. Um, we are also doing what we call some victim protection. So especially in, in um, sexual violence cases. So there, there are provisions now which protect the victim from being identified. So if that provision is, is um, utilized, the victim's name and identity cannot be revealed by the media. So you, the media will simply say the victim, Miss X, or Mr. Y, you know. Also, there's provision for the, even the testimony of such a victim to be taken behind the screen so that the victim is in court, but only the judge and perhaps the, the lawyer for the defense and the prosecution can actually see the face of the victim. Every other person in the court will not see the face of the victim, but they would hear what the victim is saying when the victim testifies. This is also to protect the victim from um, being ostracized. Most cases don't go on because the victims and the witnesses are afraid that if I testify, I might be in some sort of danger, you know, uh, either from the perpetrators or even from some very powerful people in society. So, so that provision gives them the protection, gives them the assurance that their safety is paramount to the state. The magistrate courts are also very important to the implementation of this law, this amendment, because they take the bulk of the criminal cases from the police. What modalities have been put in place to assist the magistrates to do their work better? Lagos State is providing a lot of capacity building for them. We're doing training for them, especially asking them to embrace the plea bargain option, which, is in this, which has been strengthened in this amended um, ACJL. 
and uh, we are also in the process of renovating the magistrate courts and equipping the magistrate courts to ensure that they have better facilities. All the issues which they face, which prevent them from dispensing justice speedily and fairly that they are tackled. So we, 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 we are creating emails for them so that um, advices, legal advices can be sent directly to their mailboxes and they also can send their, uh, they can make inquiry. That we're also giving them access to what we call the Lagos Criminal Information System so that they can check the status of defendants who appear before them. Have they been charged? Has the information been filed in the High Court? so that they can check that. So we're cooperating with them, we're working with the judiciary, and um, we, we, our goal is to reduce all the bottlenecks to the barest minimum. We've also adopted a provision that is in uh, the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, which is akin to the Section 34, that's our own Section 283. So that gives magistrates, the chief magistrate or magistrate, the powers to go to uh, police stations, to go through the, the list of detained people, to admit to bail those who they have jurisdiction to admit to bail or to recommend that they should be charged to court. This will help in decongesting uh, our, our, our police stations, uh, you know, when they keep people there. There is also the issue of um, compensation to victims. Section 372, we're also seeing that we're giving judges the powers in criminal cases where the victim has suffered loss, injury, to award compensation to the victim. So this is, we're, we're going to set up a fund under the law and the judge also has the power to, so for example, forfeit the property of the guilty defendant and ask that it should be used to compensate the injured defendant or victim of such, such a crime. There's also section 370 which talks about establishment of a crime data register. Also, there's the, there has been established, also in line with the Administration of Criminal Justice Act, a Criminal Justice Sector Reform Commission, or committee rather, sorry. Uh, the committee is chaired by the Chief Judge of Lagos State. That committee has actually been in existence, but it did not have the backing of the law. So the committee has had several meetings and um, now what we're simply doing is to strengthen it by making it um, a statutory body. So that's just the difference. The committee has actually held several meetings and made several recommendations for the advancement of criminal justice administration. But now it's codified and it's a statutory committee by law. One of the limitations that some stakeholders have identified is the lack of powers of supervision by a state committee over a federal institution like the police. Because we've talked about the prohibition of media parade of suspects or defendants. Can a state committee really stop the police from towing this line if that's what they want to do? Most certainly. So you, for example, in Lagos State, prosecution of offenses under Lagos State laws is a Lagos State matter. It's only, the, it's only the Lagos Ministry of Justice, the Attorney General, that can initiate prosecution. And to that extent, they're a federal agency, but they are complying with our provision of the law. And you must also note that a lot of what the police do in Lagos State is with the uh, support and cooperation of the Lagos State government in terms of um, the logistics, in terms of capacity building, in terms of um, just name it, all kinds of support, all kinds of cooperation. We know the limitations and it is because of this particular question that you have asked that this, that's what this committee is set up to do. 
So to, to, to help all these bodies, be you federal, be you state, to be able to sit down together and work out solutions to common problems. So because you see the correctional centers are complaining about their, their, their prisons, or sorry, their facilities being overcrowded. They cannot decongest on their own without the cooperation of the Ministry of Justice and the judiciary. The police are also complaining that, um, you know, there are so many defendants, prosecution, what have you. So we also have to work hand in hand with them to provide solutions. So I'm sure at that committee level, everything will be, will be resolved. And to even add to that is that we have a wonderful working relationship with the current uh, CP, and I'm sure that we will continue with this participation in this committee, continue to overcome all the bottlenecks that we face. Apart from the police and the courts, another critical aspect of the administration of criminal justice system is the correctional center. What is the position of the state on the decentralization of the correctional centers? And is the state willing to establish and run its own correctional centers? Definitely, but we are shackled by the provisions of the law, which has placed it on the exclusive legislative list. Uh, when the um, constitution is amended to allow the state um, build their own correctional facilities, we will certainly be in the forefront as usual. Even at that, we have made um, approaches to the correctional services to enable us build a modern correctional center in Lagos State. Discussions are ongoing and um, we will keep you abreast of those developments as, as soon as we conclude them. October 7th is the World's Day Against Death Penalty. What is the position of the state on the death penalty? Well, as of now, the state hasn't taken a definite position. We are preparing um, an opinion which we will give to Mr. Governor to guide him in taking a decision on the, on the issue. I mean, look, nobody has been executed in Lagos for so many years, so that gives you an inkling of the position of the state. Finally, what role will you expect the MBA, society and other stakeholders to play in championing these amendments? For the MBA, uh, they are key stakeholders, lawyers are key stakeholders. We are expecting that they would um, be the champions of these provisions uh, because the provisions, if implemented, would make for a smoother and better process of administering criminal justice in Lagos State. And that's why we're going to take this to them. We're going to go to their branch meetings. We're going to, you know, when the law is gazetted, we're going to send it to them so that they become aware, they can advise their clients and take advantage of these provisions. Uh, they, they are the ones who would make the law a living document to the benefit of the citizens of the state. So we're going to engage them as much as we can to ensure that we have their buy-in. Members of the pu public, there will be awareness programs. We would, the law will be available for them online for free to download and um, we would also have um, workshops for them to attend, those who are interested. We would make it also an online um, co uh, conference or session so that as many people as possible can attend uh, and get to know what their rights are under, uh, or under the administration of criminal justice in Lagos State.